So what's up with the umbrellas? I'm planning to use them to paint a metaphorical picture. I want you to imagine that you are having a midlife crisis and you run out and spend a bunch of your dough on a really nice convertible sports car. Okay. Now further imagine that you're driving it down the street and it starts to rain. What do you do? You pull over and you put the top up. Aha! That's where the fan site myth states that you might be wrong. That instead of wasting your time putting the top up, that you should floor it, go as fast as you can, because there is a speed at which you can drive that no rain will enter the driver's compartment. Sounds kind of unsafe to me. <laughs> Sounds really fun to test to me. Aerodynamics. <laughs> dangerous wet weather driving and a classic urban myth. This is Mythbuster Country. Because viewers want to know if you've got the top down when it starts raining, will putting your foot down keep you dry? So, does this mean we get to drive a fancy car really fast in the rain? We do, but we are in sunny California, and that presents a little bit of a problem. I think just as we did in running in the rain, we're going to have to manufacture our own rain here. It's a bit of a chore, but I think we can handle that. We still get to drive a really fancy car fast in the rain, though, right? Yes, but slow down there, cowboy. I think perhaps we ought to take this model car and run some shop tests, sprinkle some water at it, look at it on high speed, see if there's anything at all to this myth. And then we get to drive a really fancy car fast in the rain. Okay, look, we'll get some driving lessons. We'll wet down some tarmac. We'll go out next thing and drive a fancy car, all right? All right. So to keep Rev Head Heinemann happy, they shelve the shop tests in favor of... Well, the first thing on our agenda is to get some training in foul weather driving on wet roads. And in lovely, sunny California, there's nothing better for that than a perfect sunny day. But being the Boy Scouts that they are, they came prepared to make their own. Oh, I've made a rainbow. Look at that. This is going to be fun. That's the bad weather, so all we need now is a convertible car. You've seen Mythbusters before. You know that generally when we have cars, they explode. But not that one, I don't think. Pretty snappy. I think I know what I want for Christmas this year. Guiding the guys through their wet weather driving instruction is Brian Fraser. Brian's the guy that trains anybody that drives an emergency vehicle how to do it right. That means police, fire, ambulances. Brian's the guy. There you go. A little bit of steering, I can catch. Right. If I had a car like that, I wouldn't be letting Adam drive it. Harsh, but given Adam's track record and current over-caffeinated mood, <laughs> fair. <laughs> Woo! I might have gotten the microphone wet there for a second. Despite Adam's best efforts, the microphone still works, and they get down to business. Well, the surface is now wet. We're going to lose that cohesion between the tires and the concrete surface. We're on a concrete pad out here today. Hydroplaning can also be a factor if we got standing water. Ways to deal with this are get off the gas, slow our speed down. It's going to multiply any reaction that we do, so you want to not be jerky in your steering movements. <laughs> so just smoothing out your steering and backing off speed can keep you in control of the car. <laughs> The clearest difference between driving on the wet ground versus the dry ground is that it's a lot slipperier. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Mostly this feels to me like getting a handle on where out of control is. That's the trick. Once you know where out of control is, you can back off from it. Or you can sneak up to it without getting in too much danger. Just try to get a slide straight down that way. There you go. I lost my hat. <laughs> We're just trying to get comfortable with this scenario so that if we hit something unknown out there on the testing site, we can recover safely. And that's the key. <laughs> By simply getting to grips with the car on a wet surface, they can be sure they won't lose their heads at high speeds on the real test. Which means they're licensed for wet weather science. That's I the keep case. losing my hat. <laughs>